Hello everybody, welcome back to Hyper Lemon GT. Today we're going to be doing another daily race in Gran Turismo Sport. So looking at my rating, I'm a driver grade D right now with a cleanliness rating of E. So I had a couple of bad races and I got downgraded quite significantly. So now we're going to be trying to do some races and get that rating back to A grade driver and S grade cleanliness. That's not going to be easy because once you're down in these bad grades, you crash a lot, people crash into you, you get worse and worse ratings. So we have to be very careful and try and get a decent result. So we're at Bathurst in a Subaru Impreza. I believe this was the Subaru used in the Isle of Man lap record for a car. So pretty quick. Qualified second, going across the line into the first corner. And then already we get punted off into the gravel trap. So back down into P7 now. So I kind of expected being a driver grade E that you're going to get punted off in the first corner. So now let's try and work our way back through the grid. So into this corner, that guy, I'm giving him a lot of room and he's being pretty clean. So credit to that guy. Now going into the hairpin, people go pretty wide. I go a bit wide as well, but not quite as wide. Now this guy in the green car, we're giving him a lot of room, just taking it easy because we don't want to crash into him. Giving him a little nudge by accident there, but we didn't get a penalty, which is good. Now just giving him a lot of room really, because we don't want the penalties. So down to the chicane now, and he's made a pretty big mistake. We should be able to nip past him cleanly, and we do. That was a good clean move. Now down the uh, around the hairpin onto the back straight. So there shouldn't be too much action happening here. It's just flat, and we're far away from everybody. But one of the interesting things you'll notice on the grid here, that when I was an A grade driver, um, all of the grid was pretty much Japanese, as you remember from my previous videos. But now we're uh, down the ranks, all of the drivers seem to be Australian. So maybe the Australians are not as good, or maybe I'm just the Australians have come to visit Bathurst Circuit. I'm not sure which one that could be. Okay, so we're gaining on uh, Aussie Jack here. Let's be happy, is in a in Bathurst, Australian circuit, but he's not in a Holden, he's in a Subaru. I guess that will be sufficient. Okay, so going down the straight here, the Subaru is very quick actually, I think it's 600 brake horsepower, um, 165 miles an hour, and we go for a move down the inside, give him a bit of a nudge, but relatively clean move. Now it's going into the hairpin now. I'm giving him a lot of room on the outside. And he gives me a bit of a nudge from behind there. But nothing particularly bad. Just a friendly nudge, I think. Then over this back section, I like this section of the circuit. It's it'd be super precise. It's like a lot of cambers. Uh, it's quite fast. Uh, slightest mistake and you're off. Okay, going down here, this is also a very tricky corner. Giving this guy some room, Mr. NZ. I can't really pronounce that. So I see that Aussie Jack is quite close behind. NZ has gone a bit sideways there, so we're going quicker than him. Now can we get around the outside of him? Yes. So he's He's been clean here, we're just driving next to him, side by side, which is nice. 
And now I, and now I have the inside line. And it's going to be tight, so... He gave me enough room there, which is cool. That guy will hopefully get his driver rating improved after this race. So now we're up into P3. Aussie Jack there, again, pretty close to the back of me. Okay, going back into turn one now. I took a very narrow entry there. I was afraid of uh, Aussie Jack again, but yeah. Now down the back straight. Not going to be too much to report here. It seems like uh, the Japanese guy is winning the race, as per usual. And Aussie Jack, big move down the inside there, giving me a little tap out the way. But he came from quite far back, so I guess I broke a bit early there. Getting up close to Aussie Jack, so can we get past him? So he's touched the wall, I'm going down the inside. Kind of went a bit wide there. Aussie Jack flashing his lights, guess he didn't like that move. He's flash still flashing his lights. I still don't know how to flash my lights on Gran Turismo Sport, haven't worked that out yet. Well, haven't actually looked how to do that. I don't think I need to know how to flash my lights. Okay, looks like this guy ahead has made a mistake, so we're getting close to him. By the end of the straight, we could be fairly close if we have a decent exit. It wasn't the best exit, it was a uh, wide screwing up some speed, it would have been a bit narrower and would have gained quite a bit down this back straight. Okay, so Aussie Jack is pretty close behind us and this is a big, big breaking point. He's probably going to go for a move. I give it, I try and, yeah, okay, so a bit of a push there from uh, Aussie Jack sending me quite wide and we gain that position. Okay, so now we're on the last corner. So we're going to be starting the last lap now. Uh, I forgot to mention a quick update on the... Oh, Aussie Jack's gone wide. Trying to go around the outside, but no, he, he blocked me. Let's try and get down the inside of him here. You no, know, he's still blocking the... The line go around the outside instead. He breaks early and then he kind of pushes me off. So Aussie Jack is good at just pushing me out of the way. So back to what I was saying, uh, there seems to be a new penalty system on Gran Turismo Sport and if your penalty gets above five seconds and you don't take action to reduce that penalty, it will start increasing by one second every maybe 10 seconds. So it's really a motivation to get rid of the penalty very quickly. But it's coming up with a bit of a problem because people are having to slow down in weird places and it causes a few crashes as well. So I'm not sure this penalty system is the best way to go. I think the previous penalty system was reasonably good where it didn't increase as you didn't take action to reduce it. If you didn't reduce it, of course, by the end, then you've got the penalty. It could have been five, six seconds, which is going to hurt your race. But you could have taken it down in uh, like bite-sized chunks. Anyway, um, back to the race. So we're in P4, last lap. Looks unlikely that we're going to catch Aussie Jack, especially seeing as I pushed a bit hard there and I went wide. So, pretty much no chance of catching Aussie Jack now unless he crashes. So, around the last corner, and uh, Aussie Jack slowed down, looks like he got a penalty. And then, boom, he just tries to block me off quite uncleanly there. but. He didn't get rid of all of his penalty and I still got past him, so Aussie Jack got penalised for his crashing into me, which is good. Clean race for me, no 
penalty at all and a P3 so that should have helped our driver rating and maybe we're up to a D on the cleanliness now so let's see what the next race can can take us to okay so P3 not that good you know, as we started P2 and the driver ratings are not that high but nonetheless clean race good for the rating just so you know I, I really want to get out of these low ratings because the racing is not enjoyable because it's so unclean okay now to the next race so another grid full of Aussies with a Taiwanese guy at the back and this time I'm a driver grade D with a cleanliness rating also of D. So the last race improved our cleanliness rating, which is good. So this time we're starting in P2. Well, last time we were as well. So P2 again. And hopefully this time we can have a better race. Not get punted off in the first corner would be nice. And also in the, the most recent update in Gran Turismo Sport, they've come up with a new start procedure. So there seems to be a longer pause before the car starts moving. And then weirdly, you start racing before the first corner. I don't know why they've done that, because you end up starting races like in first gear on the last corner, which is a terrible place to start a race. Okay, so we got around turn one cleanly this time and it looks like the guy in P1 is devil racer so we skipped a bit of track time there because nothing interesting happened and we've gained on devil racer 62 so I don't know if he's racing the devil or he just decided to call himself that but anyway we're gaining on him in the slipstream so now go down the inside of him but I give him some room and he breaks really early so it gives me an easy overtaking maneuver that so now we're in P1 with just one lap remaining so we're on lap three it took me quite a few laps to gain on Devil Racer and he's gone wide a bit there so on to the final lap so we skip to the end of this and around the last corner and we win the race. So another clean race, not very exciting. Uh, Devil Racer got a penalty, I didn't get a penalty. Um, so Thailand beating Australia. Given that Thailand has a population of 70 million and Australia only 20 million then I guess Thailand should have some better drivers. Which there again should theoretically have more drivers in GG Sport. Okay, so we got clean race bonus and we won the race. So that should have helped our driver rating even more. Okay, now we're going to be doing a FIA, I think it's a Nation GT Championship in a Porsche Cayman GT4. I really like this car and we are at Suzuka. So we're starting qualifying now. So qualifying strategy I basically have just held back. Um, so I'm at the back of the pack now. Um, basically you need some clean air in order to get a good lap especially when the drivers are not super quick and they're crashing a lot and boom as you can see I was on a hot lap there now and this guy for some reason basically stopped mid circuit so that completely destroyed my qualifying lap so we're gonna have to wait for even more clean air this time so I just park here for a while and I'll skip a few seconds and now we can start our hot lap. So you can see that I give a lot of room to the car in front, basically the whole pit straight. So that should give me one clean lap, which is all you should need to get 
a decent qualifying run. So my first lap put me in P16, but that lap is pretty much binned after I crashed into the back of that guy in the BMW. So here we go. Basically this first corner you're just lifting a little bit. And then this S's section, it's all about balancing the car. So not too much understeer. And we want to kind of keep the car neutral, so it's all about careful power application. And here is that guy that we crashed into the back of. This time though, thankfully we're past him cleanly. Okay, down into this corner, it's a really nice corner. Just a little tap of the brakes and turn in, and then here you're braking hard. Just get a nice smooth exit from that corner and down into the hairpin. Now I'm pretty sure my line at this hairpin is not very good. People always seem to catch me there. I haven't worked out a proper line there yet. So I need to uh, practice on that part of the circuit a bit. Okay, we're gaining on another guy now. But hopefully he won't upset our qualifying lap. Into this corner, you just kind of keep it out wide, get the power back on, and brake, keep it tight, and then it should give you a nice flowing exit down this back straight. And there's another guy going slowly, but looks like we can get past him cleanly. Okay, and then 130R, you just brake a little bit and back on the power. So we get past the Hong Kong guy around the outside which is lucky and then into the final chicane a bit deep there but shouldn't have upset the time too much okay so coming up to the line this would put us in P1 so all for the start I mean there's another one up one minute 47 seconds left of the qualifying session so somebody could beat me but I'm happy with that lap it's it's going to put me in at least the top three. So, must note now, I'm a C-rated driver with a C-rated cleanliness. So, getting back up the, the ratings now. Let's have a look at the grid. So there's TGME and his Audi TT. Brozuka from Australia in an SLS. Minions King Bob. That's a pretty cool name. And then Jaros from Indonesia. And uh, Agamana Maganmana Manaman from Japan in the town died. RB26 Debt, I see he likes the uh, Skyline motor. No 26 Maki in the, the Honda. Stringent JP revving his engine there. Azu. Australians seem to like these Z's and U's in their name. And there's Yok Kuno Dayo from Japan. There's a guy from Hong Kong in his Ferrari. So people seem to like the SLS over the AMG GT. AMG GT. And uh, Lexus in there. And um, there's the guy who we crashed into the back of, Feng Sheng. And finally a Japanese guy, Yama, in the Cayman GT4. For some reason he's turning to the left. Okay, so we ended up qualifying in P2. Um, this Japanese guy beat me in the qualifying session in the final stages in his Toyota GT86. So let's see what we can make of the race. So this time Gran Turismo has given us a decent starting procedure where we just start on the straight. I'm going to try and take him down the inside. Oh, a bit of a tap, wasn't the cleanest move, but holding it tight and we have taken the position. So it looks like the guy in the GT86 is being overtaken by, is it a, is it a GTR? But now we've got a clear track ahead of us, just need to keep it smooth and don't focus on what's happening behind, just focus on getting clean laps in. So 
So breaking into this corner, hit the apex quite nicely, run out wide on the exit. Sounds reasonably good. And then into the hairpin. You'll probably see the guy in the Nissan GTR. Oh, it's actually an Audi, right? TCMG. So he's gained on me there. As I said, I just don't get that corner right. So if anybody notices what I'm doing wrong, please comment comment and I'll try and adjust my driving line there. Okay, so we've actually skipped to lap 11, so the last lap. Basically nothing happened throughout the race, we went into the pits, always in P1 throughout the entire race. Um, at the moment, I think we're at like 27 seconds in front of the guy who's second. Um, so quite a big lead. We have to go terribly wrong in order to lose now. Okay, so around 130R, just lifting a bit and back on the power, really pushing it to the limit even on the last lap. And then breaking down into the chicane. So there we go, a nice clean exit and let's see what kind of gap we have by the end. So that's the finish, P1, no penalty again, which is key. Maybe we'll get upgraded to a, a B grade driver next, which would be nice in terms of cleanliness. And maybe we can get to the B grade driver in terms of the rating as well. So let's wait for the other people to finish. If you notice now we've up to grade C, so the Australians seem to have disappeared and we have mainly Japanese now. Uh, an Indonesian there as well and a couple of people from Hong Kong. So I don't know where the uh, Australians went. So anyway, we ended up winning by over 30 seconds. So pretty solid win, should be good for the rating. Dramatic music here, but not very interesting winning procedure. We've got some confetti coming down now. And I'm clapping. Nice. Okay, so I got loads of money from that, 300 grand. Got to buy a new car with that. Okay, so there we go. Uh, win by I think 28 seconds and fastest lap by about 1.8 seconds. So excellent result. It actually, we're still a C grade driver, but it increased our cleanliness rating to A. So we should get some cleaner races here and more excitement.